This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. It is for entertainment purposes only. The one, the only. A father in the house, baby. Wow! First and foremost, I'd just like to say, salute, Jintani, to my eight brothers and my sisters. I love you. Salute, Jintani. All right. Just want to make a quick video here on this guy. This guy. Ape Holder, it's a uh, Ape, A-P-E, Holder, H-O-D-L-R. So he says, let me first say that I overall enjoy the Ape Father's energy, cheerleading, and antics. I'm not a hater. That's good to hear. So you're not, you're not a Joseph Hunt, right? Okay, Joseph Hunt's a hater. I think he's a Citadel snake, but anyway. We're going to talk about the good, the good apes in a second. We're going to give a lot of shout outs. But let me just answer Ape Holder's question. He says, answer this serious question, please. With Robin Hood, you know, their reputation of a disappearing to sell button during the GameStop squeeze, engaging in payment for order flow, having no ties to Citadel, blah, 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 blah. Why don't you go with other brokerage houses like, you know, Fidelity, E-Trade, all right. Let me ask you a question, Ape Holder, before, before I answer the question. Salud, Jintani. Okay, hold on. I could have just chugged that, but I want to talk a little bit to you guys. What makes you think that Citadel, right? doesn't have arrangements with Fidelity. Do you know that for a fact? What makes you think that Citadel doesn't have arrangements with Weeble? Okay. I mean, seriously. Okay. What makes you think there was uh, some YouTubers who even went as far to, they, to say that Citadel had uh, DTCC employees in their pocket, government employees in their pocket, all these conspiracy videos. And you know something? At first, you know, I really didn't believe it. I'm like, you know what? That's going a little bit too far. But then let me tell you what I came across. Are you ready? The gov the, the uh, Georgia Senator Kelly Loeffler, okay? I actually put a video uh, out on this, like, it was like about maybe three or four days ago. Ken Griffin gave her like a million dollar donation. Then I think he gave her another $2 million donation. And this was all during the time when, um, I don't know if you know this, when they, they had that scandal going on, uh, Kelly Loeffler and, and her uh, husband, where they sold their stocks right before the pandemic, the, right before the pandemic hit. They sold everything, like they had insider information. They were cleared of all charges. But uh, pretty convenient, huh? Pretty convenient. Now, I also said in the video that Kelly Loeffler's husband is Jeffrey C. Spreacher. Now, Jeffrey C. Spreacher, I don't know if you know this, is the founder and CEO of the Intercontinental Exchange and the chairman of the New York Stock Exchange. Let me repeat that. The chairman of the New York Stock Exchange. Now, this is the same guy who was accused, they were cleared of all charges, but they were accused of selling all their stocks. They got out of everything you know, with his wife, you know, Kelly Loeffler, okay, the uh, the Georgia uh, senator, right? Okay. They got out of all their, their positions right before the pandemic, getting million-dollar donations from Ken Griffin. So this is what my point is. You guys make it seem like Weeble. You guys make it seem like Fidelity, E-Trade, uh, you know, TD Ameritrade. Like, they, they're, you know... Like they're uh, these uh, angels, you know, they're angels. They're, they're, you know, they're hanging out with the Pope in the Vatican and they're, you know, name of the Father, love, soul, and spirit. Like they're like these uh, godly, you know, people that could be trusted. How do you know that? How do you know that they're not in bed with the devil? You don't know nothing, okay? You're just assuming. You know when you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. Spell out the word assume. A-S-S-U-M-E. When you assume, you make an ass out of you and me. So here's the bottom line. 
You guys talk so, you, you know, you apes drive me crazy. You guys talk all of this stuff all the time on how we're fighting corruption, on how, you know, we want to make the world a better place. We want to make Wall Street fair. But then you single out Robin Hood. This is what you do. You single out Robin Hood as being the only platform that's, that's bad. And yet, Weeble is perfect, Fidelity is perfect, E-Trade is perfect, TD Ameritrade is perfect. Get your head out of your ass, okay? There is so much corruption going on right now that if you knew about it, you'd be like Linda Blair in The, Ex you know, the Exorcist, when she turns her head around, when she does the, you know, she does the friggin', uh, you know, the 180, all right? Look, listen to me. Bottom line is this. When you have a cash account, no platform can sell your shares. And that's the most important thing. You want to hear what the most important thing is, everybody? We don't want our shares sold during the squeeze, right? If you have a margin account, it, listen, I already did my homework on this, okay? Uh, a holder. When you have a margin account, it wasn't just Robinhood. It was Weeble. It was Fidelity. It was E-Trade. It was TD Ameritrade. They all were ordered. They all were ordered to sell shares, okay? From the big clearinghouses, from the, the DTCC, they were ordered to sell shares without the permission of the shareholder, but only in the case when they had margin accounts. So all I'm just trying to say to you guys is this. Look, I understand everybody has this hatred, hatred for Robert Hood. I understand it. But Robert Hood has to follow the law. Listen to me. They can't understand something, okay? If they sell people's positions, right? If they sell people's positions without their permission and they have a cash account, do you know how much trouble Robin Hood is going to get into? Do you, do, it's going to be insanity, brother. And remember something. They can't, it's just, it can't happen. Like, let's see, what you guys are trying to, you're trying to make a point. You know what it's like saying? You're trying to make a point. You're trying to say, like, Godzilla is going to, is going to, you know, come swim up to Manhattan. He's going to destroy the whole city. I mean, this is how you guys sound. They can't do it. No platform can sell your shares if you have a cash account. So that's it. Are we clear? Look, I get it. You hate Robin Hood. Every, you know, according to you, Ape Holder, everybody else is, there's no corruption going on. Fidelity is beautiful. TD Ameritrade is beautiful. E-Trade is beautiful. Weeble is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I'd be willing to make you a bet with huge money that if you have a Weeble account and if you have a Fidelity account, if you have a margin account, I would bet you the freaking hairs on my bull sack, all right? And that's that's very valuable. Let me tell you something. I'm selling that shit on eBay for top money right now. I'd be willing to bet you anything that Fidelity will sell your stocks in a moment's notice if you have a margin account there to squeeze. Okay, so just why can't we just, listen, come to this simple acceptance? Every platform will not sell your shares without your permission if you have a cash account. And as far as all this other bullshit, the buy buttons, the sell buttons, uh, my ass and my belly button, yeah. Yeah, how about this button? You like this button? You like that button? Look. It's, it's the monkey belly button. Okay, all the, all the buttons. You got the sell buttons. You got the, the buy buttons. Listen, only an idiot, only an idiot would want to buy shares. During a squeeze, only the dumbest Mama Luke Stunad Batsa friggin' guy or girl is gonna want to buy during the squeeze. You gotta buy before the squeeze. And as far as them preventing you from selling, listen, listen. Once again, here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. You could sue these if you have a cash account, and if that happens, you could sue these companies. For huge, huge, I actually want it to happen. You want to know something? I would love it if Robin Hood screws me with a cash account. I would love it because I'm going to make 10 times the amount of money suing Robin Hood that I will from the squeeze. Guys, you got to calm down. You got to take a chill pill. You got to relax. The key is to have a cash account, a cash account. That's it. Remember something. Corruption is all over Wall Street. Corruption is everywhere. It's not just in Robin Hood. It's in every platform probably. It could be in places that would even shock you. 
Okay, ape holder. That's what we're doing here. The point of this, you want to know what the true point of this movement is, besides getting rich, is to end the corruption. That's why I'm telling everybody to hold with diamond bowls of steel to go to Pluto. Because listen, if you guys all sell at 300 or 500, we're never ready this to corruption. We're not, we, 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 you know, that's like giving, that's like, you know, helping the hedge funds, okay? We got to hold so that the hedge funds have to be bailed out by the DTCC. You know, Powell's got to have to print new money to pay all of us. And that's how we're going to make a difference. That's how we're going to win. We got to completely annihilate the hedge funds. All right. So I hope I answered your question. AMC.